Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here. And today, well, most of the time when I'm sort of looking for something new on the Play Store, I happen to cross it uh, accidentally through some of my social media. Uh, and lo and behold, um, I didn't know um, Cyberpunk 2077 uh, had some sort of mobile release. So, let's see. I know this has been a big game in 2020 for PCs and next-gen consoles, but let's see what the mobile what the mobile take has to offer in Cyber Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, we get to create our own cyborg person. So let me uh, play around with this and we'll hop into we'll hop into the game proper once uh, once I get something going here. Take a shower with our cyborg, so we don't be stinky, I guess. Ah, damn, Og, my head's killing me. I thought this was spoken text, I guess not. So they had to cut some things back, I'm sure. This place is a dump. But the navigator says it's the right address. The office is somewhere nearby. I need to find the entrance. Deceiver, power glove. I have the power glove. Uh, okay. And I thought this was a first person game. But you know what? We'll take it for what it's worth. I guess I have to go up here for my next mission. And what do I have here? And it doesn't tell me what any of those are, but let's take them all. Find a way into McKenna Biotech HQ. Is that my current objective? Hello, fellow. Scumbag. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Scumbag. Hey, what you doing here? I'm searching for McKenna Biotech offices. What are you doing here? Ha! Looking for a score? You're too late. We already grabbed everything. Now get out of here. Just let me through and no one gets hurt. Spoken like a true badass. Now that you've gotten on my news, someone about to get hurt. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess someone was about to get hurt. All right, let's see what he's got. Ooh, some brass knucks. We'll take those, thank you. Uh, okay, where do we go to get our can we equip? We can. <laughs> and run around in my skivvies if I really wanted to, but I figured having some clothes might might be good for our case. So let's can let's carry on. Open the fence. All right, it looks like we can sort of rummage around to any things that highlight on, on the screen. 
So far, nothing though. More scumbags? Thug. And who are you? Why did Psycho let you in? Oh, you mean scumbag? You mean the dude at the gates? Looks like he's taking a nap. A permanent dirt nap. Oh, well, you're about to regret that. Who said I had anything to do with it? You didn't see nothing, bud. That thug. Alright, let's start taking stuff. What does thug have? Does that mean. Equip. Uh, got a bat. Got ourselves a bat. So let's carry on. Thing of interest around here. No, nope, but I can see myself through the bush, through the foliage. Can't get in there. So I guess I'm going up this way. Ah, the place I wanted to get to. Bingo! Here's the office. Got to get inside. Um, how about the door? I got a bat. I can bat in the window. Or I can just use the door. Apparently it's 1758 at 75, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The current temperature is cyberific. Find a working computer. Well, this is the future. That shouldn't be too hard. Make faxes. Can I, can I print some copies? Seriously? No working computer at the reception? Fine. Let's carry on. Click lock. We're in the cyberpunk age and not a working computer. Everything should have been hardwired into our neural nets or what have you. But yes, let's go find ourselves a working terminal. Nope, nothing here. Alright, carrying on. This thing. Who are you? How did you get in here? <laughs> K Pox Man? Incredible. Did it work? Of course it worked. Why wouldn't it? Yeah, why wouldn't it? Hold up. I know you. You're the CEO of that company. K. K Poxman. Yes. And you are the lucky witness to my. Scientific breakthrough! I've invented cyberpunk! But you died. It was all over the news. The company went bankrupt. You shot yourself. And you have no working computers in your company. <clears throat> shot myself? No, no, no. Give me a second to connect to the net. You know, that thing? The net? Wait, it's 2084? Well, that's just... Uh, a of the coronavirus, maybe? Hey, maybe you want to clue me in on why I'm talking to a ghost. Oh, you're the one who matters. I just learned that I'm dead. Global pandemic and all. <laughs> Fine. Five years ago, I had a chip installed in your head. Eh? Eh? Five years ago, I had a chip installed in my head? The one that saved your life, right? Well, that chip also had another conscious in it. Mine. It was a backup. A spare save. Uh, you are getting to the later points of 
uh, Cyberpunk 2077, <laughs> all within the five minutes of this game. And judging by all this, this backup consciousness activated after death of the real me. Are you also voiced by Keanu Reeves? What a fascinating story. Now get out of my head. I mean it. Right. About that. I'm afraid I have to refuse. You see, this chip is the only reason you're alive. And that means you owe me. Uh, or I could shoot myself. <laughs> Quick game, but you know, moral choices. Listen here, buddy. My head isn't some hotel for dead billionaires. It's, it's hotel for the sleaze of the earth that I usually associate myself with. Believe me, I enjoyed being in my own head better too. Hmm. You're a mercenary, right? Well, I want to hire you. Do some work for me and I'll leave your head. I'll even pay you some creds than... More creds than you can count. Deal? I don't know, I can count pretty high. What's this work you need done? Not here. You've managed to attract some attention as it is. Thugs and dirt bags. My secret apartment is close by. No one knows about it except me. It'll be safe for us there. Oh, it's us now. It's we and us and and all that sort of stuff. Head there. We'll talk it over once you arrive at the apartment. Uh, okay, well. Off to the secret apartment. Anything that I can get while I'm here? I'm gonna say no. Nope. Nothing here. Nothing here. Well, I guess I'm going here then. Apartment. A modest but cozy apartment in Cyber Slum. <laughs> Allows you to be right, right in the thick of things while remaining inconspicuous. Power supply low. Well, I guess we'll go there. <gasps> I'm driving! Oh. Well, thank you, car. Let's, let's exceed the speed limit. Why not? How dangerous can it be? Whoa. <laughs> Alright, I guess I arrived at the apartment. What a wonderful apartment. Do all billionaires live like this? Or are you the odd one out? <laughs> this apartment has everything you need, including inconspicuousness. Yeah, nobody in their right mind would ever wander into this dump. I'm glad you like it. Now, you can stay here for as long as you need. This place isn't in my will, so consider it yours now. Oh, how generous. Is that a hint that I'm going to have to stay here a while? I remember you mentioned something about work. What exactly do you need done? Hmm. Well, here's the situation. If the news is to be believed, I shot myself after my company went bankrupt, right? You tell me, Mr. Netman. Well, there are two problems with that. First, my company would never have gone bankrupt. We were making bajillion dollars. And I would never have committed suicide even if it had. So I must have been set up. In other words, this, thinks of, this all stinks of a cover-up. Yep. Uh, someone destroyed my legacy and killed me. And I'm hiring you to figure out who it was. 
was a guy living in your head. You said you were, uh, you said you're a five-year-old copy of yourself, right? Well, a lot can happen in five years. Don't you think it's possible that you lost your marbles? Or possibly some other things? <laughs> Trust me, I've always been in my right mind. Well, up until now, that is. Inside joke. Figure out what happened and I'll pay you. Handsomely. Enough to... Enough for you to never have to work as a hired gun again. You don't know how I work. Oh, and I'll get out of your head forever. Deal? And what if I refuse? Well, then I won't get out of your head. <clears throat> I'm in your head. I can help you. I can also make your life a living hell. Just figure this out and we can go our separate ways. You simpleton. I'm starting to think I really don't have a choice in all this. Where should I start? First, we'll need this computer. Fix it. The parts are probably somewhere in the locker next to it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, okay. New level. Uh, Alright, let's... Oh, am I starting to... Oh, we get some... Some stuff to spend some currency on. This is a free to play after all, so it's gonna have to hit you up with uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, take all that. Oh, I guess let's. Okay, okay I can just drag and drop. have a lot of inventory space so is there some way let's close this is there some way I can open up inventory slots you don't have a cyber arm well why not I should have a cyber arm So more augmentations, I guess, if I need to. Close. Let's just head to the computer. We got here. Oh, the shower. But we need to fix the computer. So let's do that first. Is this computer place components? Okay. Uh, I don't have all the stuff. So let's close that. Do I have the stuff for the shower? Can I clean myself? Oh, I see. You need, like, a bunch of stuff. Okay. So can I... We'll put that stuff to good use for now. Or will that... Uh, no, it stays in place. Okay, so at least that frees up inventory slots. This is the... Oh, good. Bridge. So not the locker where I can find the computer opponents. Maybe here? No, oh, no, that's the food tube light kitchen. With more parts for me to... To assemble. Yay. That's the lock. Imagine. Yep. Take all. And five of those and five of those. And we'll assemble. Not bad. Repair skills like that. Repair skills like that. And you could leave the mercenary, li mercenary life for a career in system administration. No thanks. You know, it's too bad you're a projection and I can't punch you in your smug face with my brass nuggets. Yeah, I'm super lucky to be dead. <laughs> Listen, you're not from this city. Angel City? And you can't get anything legally without an ID. Uh, do I not have an ID? Jeez, how much of a noob am I in this game? <laughs> uh, thankfully, the darkest corners of the net are home. 
are home to the exact kind of people who could help. Use computer to reach out to, to the shadow. To the shadow? The shadow knows. They're a hacker group who can get you access to the black market. So I need to access the black market to access the black market. I bet if you do a little work for them, they won't be in your debt for long. Oh, good. We can get you to where you want to go, but you'll be indebted to us. Uh, a nice big TV. Can I turn it on? Don't think so. Do I have any parts to fix the shower yet? Doesn't look like it. Maybe what I should do is actually put some stuff into this locker here. Stuff like wire and tape. Ooh, a bandage. I can fix a boo-boo. I got some pills. Uh, Alright, let's close that. Go back to our fridge. Uh, let's take a pizza, why not? And close that. I think I left more stuff. And take it. Okay. And cleared out this locker, right? I did. Okie dokie. Nice mellow tunes going on here as well. Alright, let's see what the computer darknet. Secret chat with Shadow. Well, not very hard to get in contact with them, that's for sure. I need to get my hands on something without attracting any attention. I heard you could help. We don't help. You do something for us, we do something for you. That simple. Got it? Uh, no. That's the way I live. Good. Let's see what you're worth. We have eyes everywhere. Every time you help us... Or somebody vouches for you, we credit you with experience in our organization. We're granting you access to the black market. Well, that was easy. Here you can buy all sorts of useful equipment. The more, expen the more experience you gain, the more items will be available on the black market. So what do you need? I need to fix my bat before it's only fit for the scrapyard. That works. We'll give you the weapons. We'll give you the weapons repair station for free. Think of it as an investment in our partnership. Yay! So we have the Gunrunner Light Repair Station at the low, low price of free. So let's buy it. And, oh, and <laughs> it just miraculously appears in the next room. So let's go there. Uh, so let's do that. What? You need to assemble it. That's not good. I just put all my stuff in the locker. There. All right. Back. Uh, all right. Well, let's put that away, that away. It said but we'll need some of this stuff, so let's take all that. Go back to the gun shop. Or the repair station. I don't have enough for all of this. Need three chips. That's why I need more stuff. Do I have to buy the components? Or do I get them from doing missions? Uh, black market. Nope, all that stuff is... <laughs> What's that? Oh, Cyberdeck needs to connect. <laughs> Not at cop. Uh, let me guess, more problems with the law. No need to answer. Tell me the area, transfer the money, and I'll sort it out. Nobody will be looking for you, I promise. Uh, we don't need anything there. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, oh, contact Shadow once again. I do need here. Uh, connect. 
That's just the body. Where am I supposed to get the parts for it? Listen, we're not looking for a charity case. You can go to Cyber Cyber Slum for the components. There's a gang of razor heads who's moved in. They deal in stolen parts. You might they might have something you can find useful. Moreover, those idiots don't bother us. Moreover, those idiots bother us much. You'll get experience for every bad guy you get. How am I supposed to get them? My gun's broken. Since when is that our problem? <laughs> Fine, head downtown, find a gun store. Say the right passphrase and they, they'll have something for you. Remember the password, please. Please? Seriously? You don't think someone might say that by accident? <laughs> Trust me, no one ever says please by accident. This is a cyber slum after all. Uh, go to cyber slum, get a new gun, take care of it. Let's say five razor heads and we're business. It's like a video game. All right, well, let's get in our cyber car. And we'll go in one minute and 13 seconds. How to pull it off. Answering to manual control. Oh, it's crazy taxi up in here, driving in the wrong lane. Right, I'm exceeding the speed limit. What are you gonna do about it? Oh! <laughs> Apparently, I just rub up against the uh, the next car and slow down immediately. But we've made it to downtown. This and it's up here. The casino. Oh, the gun store. Put reds in here. Uh, no thanks. We need to we need to use them. Seller at gun and gone. <laughs> Welcome to my humble establishment. Over a hundred methods of solving your problems, assuming you have enough creds. I was hoping to get something for free, because I'm dead broke. Please? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Not again. Tell your friends I gotta go out of business if I keep giving guns to randos for free. You're not the only player character in this world, you know? I get them to do one thing for me, now I'm hooked for life. Fine, fine, I'll get you something, but don't come here again without any creds. You silly person. But I actually do have creds, <laughs> which is the funny thing. I guess I don't have enough, though. Uh, yeah, 271 isn't going to get me very far. Alright, well, thanks for the free gun. and claws. Tech Noir. Do I get to go into Tech Noir? Why can't I go into Tech Noir? Alright, fine. Anything of interest on this side? Doesn't look like it, so I guess we'll have to leave and make our way back so that we can off some gang members. Right? Is that how it works? Raise our heads in cyber slow. Alright, so... Yeah. Front skirts. Back streets. We've got our PvP. The hood. Recommend the level. Okay. 
might be worth our while to take a look at the recommended level. One. There we go. Let's drive to Cyber Slum. We have places to be. Rockin' tunes, though. Useful computer information. Nice. Okay, so let's make sure we have our gun equipped. One bandage. I don't have to worry about bullets, but I guess the gun's durability is just going to go down until it breaks. Or I can't use it anymore. I sort of missed that. Okay, more creds and a bandage. Take that, you freak! some parts. Uh, okay, close. And take some creds out of the machine. <laughs> I guess I can on that one. Don't get up, fellows. Just passing through. Oh. Kill the cyber doggy. Yay, that is. I'm back at my old apartment. What happens? You die. You just wake up back at the apartment and have to go back out again. Also, I guess my hunger is getting low. I'm at 43 out of 100. Okay, and that was a quick little taste of. Cyberpunk 2077. No! Over. God, please, no! No! <laughs> okay, not really. No, but actually this, this game is called Cyberica, and if you are not getting 
If you just can't get enough of that cyberpunk adventure type game, then maybe this will scratch that itch uh, on the go. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness, because you'll never know what I'll be playing next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.